Rolling? Okay. Um, this is the last time I'm gonna see Carolyn and I'm super nervous. I've never been nervous before, but I'm like, am I gonna get it all? Am I gonna miss asking her questions? So, I don't know, I feel nervous. Okay, bye. Close this, right? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. I'm just going to take a Fine. Yeah. Building my Jordan's here. Hi. Okay. Oh, you're doing your head for? I know, finally. Nice. I was working on it all yesterday. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it, the hardest part was getting the um, the plywood backing up on the wall. Oh wow! And then, of course, the other hurdle is to cut around the outlets. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> He's not happy about this construction, are you? How my slab? How is my slab? <laughs> Welcome to my construction site. Oh, thank you so much. How have you been? How was the last week? Good, good. Well, I had uh, chemo last Friday. Okay. And Thanksgiving was Thursday. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was a busy week. Today marks our six month anniversary. Wow. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to go through some kind of uh, evaluation or completion or see where we've been and how it's gone and how far we've come. How far we've come <laughs> in this journey called life. Yeah. So, and uh, the cheesier the better. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wanted first to go through the health history we did the first time, see if anything's changed. Um, you're still 5'7? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I was never a big meat eater, mm -hmm. so I thought, oh, is this just going to be a little baby step into this vegan diet? And I didn't realize how much of a kind of a dedication you need to it to actually get, not just skipping out the meat and the cheese and the eggs, and I do like cheese and eggs, I still do, um, but to really find a organic produce consistently, and therefore definitely been uh, cooking more at home, which I'm enjoying. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also realizing that if I want to eat the way I want to eat, that's really kind of important. Just going out to eat, it's just, it just becomes harder and harder. Unless you go to you know, very specific restaurants, it becomes difficult to get what you want. Yeah. And I don't always want to sit there with that plate of roasted vegetables. It's like, oh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know? Have you ever tried any of the vegan restaurants? Or oh, there's a great one downtown called Caravan of Dreams. And the Reiki you're still going to? Yes. Yay. <laughs> How is that going? What are you guys doing now on average? You go then once a week? Yeah, we skipped this week because it was you know Thanksgiving and yeah. I, I was busy. So, um, boy, I guess it's more me getting into it with him mm -hmm. instead of just kind of lying there going, okay, do what you do. I mean, I don't know what you do, but just do it. <laughs> so you're participating more. Yeah, and it's more kind of like a deep meditation for me, mm -hmm. which is great. That's great. Uh, so what did you think um, about Gossus when I came to approach you in your garden? I guess it was um, more comprehensive than I thought it would be between the meditation and the reiki and the supplements and my brand new blender and, and but the alkalized water system and I mean it really you made it a lot easier because if I had had to keep going down the five flights of steps down to 10th Street with one of those big gallon glass jugs mm -hmm. I don't think I would be drinking as much of that water as I am yeah and having all those supplements kind of right at hand the, you mean the chlorella and the spirulina? That and plus the, the, um, the spices, the herbs and spices okay. and things like that. So um, we kind of have them all right there and it makes it easier. So um, um, what else? I, there's some stuff that I get, even I'm just starting to remember that we did. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> we drew pictures of ourselves. Yeah, we totally did. <laughs> 
did you think that like, going into it, like I was very optimistic. I was like, yeah, we're just going to change the diet. And then automatically the two months would disappear and everyone would be cured in three months. And then the Well, I didn't quite week. realize you were actually that optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just trying to be positive. <laughs> I mean, I started out with a very advanced form of cancer. Mm -hmm. And by the time you came to me, it had recurred which is quite common, but at the same time, that also is a pretty dire forecast for you. So you started out like way underwater <laughs> with me. So, um, so anyway, I mean, things are looking up. I mean, things are going in the right direction. I'm just very impatient and would wish that they would go faster. What is the, going to be the easiest thing to keep doing that you got from this experience? I think the diet. I think I'm very, very into it now and really, uh, now, very in the middle of reading the China study and going like, oh my God, you know, so it's it's really pretty much bolsters everything that you've brought to the table here, so okay. um, I'm glad I started reading that and I thought, oh, look at this big fat study. And yeah. it's fascinating though, it's really, really fascinating, so. Oh, good. I, I have it right here. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. And what, what is your take from, from what you've read so far? Um, pretty much how blatant the evidence is and that we don't really hear about any of this. And um, he spends a lot of time in the book trying to prove himself and I understand why because he was met with such skepticism when he brought out these studies that just were just so black and white. And what if you know if you never read it before how would you um, describe it to someone else? Um, just undeniable proof of the, the correlation between your diet and your and your health. Well, and, and then, you know, becoming part of the 9-11 Commission and then mm -hmm. covering everything, that kind of puts a little, like, aha to it, like maybe that's what, what's it, but I'm, I'm definitely not going to say, oh, that's definitely what caused me to become ill, because I, I don't really know. So with the 9-11, you were down there taking pictures, right? Yeah, for several days. And what what happened? How? Well, I mean, I went down there the morning of, and by the end of the day, you know, just covered in this white dust. Were you wearing masks? I had a little paper mask, but that does very little to do anything. I mean, I don't really know what those little paper masks are for. But I actually saved mine. I don't know where it is, but mm -hmm. I remember having gone down there and how bad it was, I put it in this little box somewhere because mm -hmm. I said someday I'm going to find out what I did to my lungs. Yeah. Thinking that whatever happened to me was done to my lungs. Okay. So um, then lo and behold, all these years later, them adding ovarian cancer to the list of affected uh, diseases for the people that were down there. Did you meet any other people with ovarian cancer? From that were down there? No. Yeah. But, but for, at some point they must have added it onto the list for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what that was, and I'm not sure that I'm going to be allowed to know why or how or by whom. Mm -hmm. So. And so you will keep your vegan diet? Yes, I will. Yay! <laughs> All right, so final. If you, let's say you're going to live to be 100 at least, maybe 120, who knows. What are things you want to like accomplish in, in, with that time, with the next 60 years? Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Is there um, something that you know, always wanted to do or wanted to well, see? Well, I mean, there's a lot of places I haven't traveled to. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's something that I've always liked doing. So there's always new places to explore, mm -hmm. new pictures to take. You want to, like, uh, take on a new brownstone project or do oh, you want Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> um, new garden. Yeah, the garden thing could, could keep growing. But... Um, for right now, it takes up a lot of my time, so um, I think, if anything, I might start trying to spend less time over there. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I guess paying more, again, paying more attention to my artwork and maybe, um, I don't know, reading more, trying to relax more because I don't do that very well. Do you feel like you're very present now more? Because usually when I ask people about, like, what are you doing for the next 60 years? They're like, I want to be, buy a car, I want to go do this place, I want to do that. And you're like, oh, I just want to read a little bit more. Like, you seem very happy and you're present. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, Except for the, you know, the big O. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think you'll ever get rid of it? I really, I'm going to try. So, so right now you have five tumors. 
Um, that are visible and measurable. Okay. Let's put it that way. And I haven't actually asked them the question, is that it? But when I read the reports, they said there's no new lesions, meaning they've no, observed no new mm -hmm. outcroppings, which is very good news, actually. And during the last six months, um, from what I gather, two of them have stayed the same? Two have shrunk, two have stayed the same, and one has a tiny little growth. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I've missed during the during the six months that you would have well, liked to do? Well, my goodness, you've been very thorough. <laughs> um, I don't think so. I mean, I didn't. I guess expect you to go so much into like your just your brain, like the reiki or the meditation and things like that. I was just thinking it's all going to be like diet and you know. Mm -hmm working out and all just kind of physical, 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 but I really believe that you're like, I mean, very from the very beginning, I mean, everyone's always kind of said like, oh, you know, you're laughing all the time and you take, you, you know, you're taking this so well and it's like, well, what are you going to do? I mean, this is, if this is what you have left, it's like you may as well, mm -hmm. you know, keep laughing. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what else besides, um, you know, keeping in touch and, and well, I just want to march. thank you. This has been like quite a journey. Yeah, no, thank you for for um, signing up. Being like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. Um, yeah. So, so you really great. didn't know when you came in the garden? No, I, really? so you thought the whole time that I. No, knew. my sister said she. I said, oh, it's amazing, my neighbor, and she came in and she's looking for someone that has cancer. She's, oh, you know everyone in the neighborhood. And my sister went, oh, come on, Carolyn, she knew. No, I didn't know. And I went, oh. No, I didn't know. I suppose she was just being polite. Mm. And I thought, God, you're so naive. <laughs> no, I just figured because you had always people in the garden and you knew everyone and you did like a kind of um, community projects. Well, then, well, her take on it was that you were just coming in and being polite so that if I just said no, then I could have just, you know, oh, okay. said no. And, no, I had no idea. Uh, I, had no I idea. do know that people in this neighborhood gossip a lot. So uh, I, yeah. the thing was is that I'd be walking down the street and here's the garden lady. Hello, hello. And then one day everyone was like, how are you? Uh, and you're like, oh, you know. <laughs> I mean, is it kind of like to be continued, or...? Well, well, I've, like I said, I thought everyone was going to be cured and like skipping down the street together. Like, <laughs> um, but I guess um, it's going to be more like a conversation starter. Uh-huh. Um, right. I guess we'll wrap up. <laughs> <laughs>